Okay, so uh, typically I like to wait for about a minute before I go live with the uh, content of the show. I mean, I am live right now, but what I mean is like even the content of the show because some people need a little bit of time to maybe they are driving, maybe they're doing something and you need to put that activity down so they can actually focus in the on content of the show some shows they wait five minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes some webinars they wait half an hour 45 minutes sometimes but because the show is typically between five and ten minutes i like to wait for about a minute that said i am going live in uh, five four three two and one What's going on? My name is Ben and welcome to another episode of my daily vlog where I strive to inspire you to achieve your goals and therefore your dreams. How are you? Happy Saturday. Today we had a not so great date at a gun quit. We went all the way to a gun quit and when we got there after maybe half an hour, we got a thunderstorm, so we had to leave and come back home. So, Ganquit is about an hour and 45 minutes, two hours away from where we live. However, you know, we do some stops and uh, so the girls can, you know, our, uh, we have young girls. One is four, Brianna, and the other one is a year and a half old. So, you know, they need some attention. So, typically, it takes us, it takes us about three hours because we stop. For, for lunch anyway not a great not the greatest day however you know we are super grateful and happy that we are so far knocking wood are all healthy and you know so no i'm not really complaining i'm just telling you all my day and uh to give you a little bit of uh information about my day because this is a live show and uh, today i am going to reach you the beginning of Chapter, chapter 13 of Master Plan Your Success. And this is the book I wrote for my kids, my wife, my friends, my family, and of course, for you. And I uh, wrote this before my first daughter was born. And it talks about my definition of success, which, by the way, is success to me is to be happy. You don't have to have a million dollars. You don't have to win the Olympics. You have to be happy happy because that's really all that matters you can be super poor or super rich but if you are poor and happy uh, that is a successful person to me and if you are a multi-millionaire and you are happy well uh, successful economically but I, I I bet that most of those millionaires who are unhappy are not they will change all the money they have to actually be happy anyhow so uh, chapter 13 uh, speaks, I spent an entire chapter on my book about to uh, talking about envy. Okay, so envy is a very important topic uh, in the way I think. And that's why I wrote the entire chapter. And because the introduction is a little bit long, I am going to split uh, reading you the introduction in a few days. So I'm going to do um a little bit tonight and then maybe another four episodes or so i don't know we'll we'll uh just bear with me but uh the beginning of chapter 13 right here and it's called the undeniable power of envy okay so that's the title of it and uh the i i actually have two quotes for you tonight but this is the beginning, and it reads, Very few forces are more powerful than envy. Envy is such a visceral, instinctive feeling because when someone is doing better than us, we perceive it as a threat from a bigger animal, and our reaction is to have negative feelings. These feelings then manifest themselves as envy. Granted, they ha there has not been much research about envy. The power of envy attacks silently. 
It is undetectable by most raiders on earth. And when it hits you, it hunts you like food poisoning. It shuts your dream, it shuts your dream system down and all of a sudden, nothing makes any sense. You did all that you were supposed to do and you, you can, all you can think is, why? Well, let me tell you why. Lots of people do not appreciate your success. They will never tell you, but they don't like your success. They pull their Academy Award nominated performances and show you how happy they are for you. And you sincerely believe them. You fall into their trap as they use their instinctive skill of acting, as all animals do. And that is why you cannot detect the destructive, directive power of envy. Okay, so that is part one of the introduction of chapter 13, which is, enti which is entitled The Undeniable Power of Envy. So now I have two quotes for you, and the first one reads, It's always easier to blame the most successful of the bunch. And that is by this guy, Ben Tolosa, guy who wrote this book. And uh, the other quote I have for you tonight reads, and I'm going to have trouble pronouncing his uh, name, but here I go. The truest mark of being born with great qualities is being born without envy. And that is by Francois de la Roche Foucault. It's a French last name, so forgive me. I'm not, I know I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but it's a really, really great quote. And, uh, I am going to continue tomorrow with uh, another section of the introduction, but that is all for you tonight. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. Your likes really do help my channel. They make me so happy and uh, I really do appreciate each one of them and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. If you want to learn more about leading a successful life, if you want to learn more about filmmaking, photography, and audio, uh, subscribe to my channel and you will be getting uh, tutorials uh, once in a while about those topics and also the movies I make. By the way, I'm uh, releasing my second movie as a director, which is called I for Killia. For Killia is just uh, for kill one word. That's how I wrote it, wrote it and uh, I'm releasing that on August 8th, which is, I believe, this Thursday at 8 o'clock, 888. And uh, this is easy to remember. If you're interested, you will see the premiere on my channel and you can actually set a reminder for yourself. Or you can watch it. It's a 15 minutes short film about a Graham Barrett who, after 20 plus years of uh, hunting his rapist, his childhood rapist, uh, he finally finds him and needs to decide if to forgive him or if to kill him. So if you want to know what happens, watch this movie on uh, Thursday, the 8th, 8, 8, 8 at 8. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. And I will do my best to answer them as soon as possible, typically the very next day, unless I need to research my answer, in which case... It will take me a little longer, but I promise you I will reply to you as soon as I can. And again, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate your time. I wish you an excellent night, a wonderful weekend, and I will see you tomorrow night. Good night.